Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna, I'm data analyst and today I've decided to answer some questions that I have received on my Instagram or YouTube. By the way, thank you for asking. So this video is about data analytics, data science, my job and etc, etc, etc. Uh, so if you're interested, please continue watching, don't forget to subscribe my channel, click like, so I will know that you like such kind of video and maybe I will do more. The first question is about my path in data science. So I should say when I applied to the university, uh, data science and data analysis or machine learning wasn't so popular and I didn't even think about this field. So knowing math, I decided, well, my parents have decided to enter the economic faculty and as a result I achieved master's degree in corporate finance. But I should say that university gave me strong Excel skills so I was able to apply these skills uh, in my first job at EY or Ernst Young. Uh, there I worked with the data from many companies and um, analyzed a uh, salary level for every profession so we issued a salary survey uh, report in Ukraine. Then I worked as a financial controller at L'Oreal company and I also worked with companies numbers as I worked on a PL financial statement but soon I realized that financial control is not my dream job so I started to discover what I really like to do what I really enjoy and I found out that this is visualization working with the big data and uh, solving some interesting tasks when you should think about different ways and um, different things in one time and I want to work in a tech field. So firstly, I considered business analyst role, but after a more detailed study, I found out the difference between business analyst and data analyst. And uh, then I realized that I don't want to gather uh, business requirements or write business requirements. So I asked friends, what resources can I use to learn SQL or Python? and uh, finished two SQL courses on Udemy. And after that, I started looking for a job uh, and mentioned I didn't wait until I finish a Python course. And you know what? My previous working experience and my uh, newly acquired SQL skills were enough to get a job. Uh, and by the way, that was the second company where I sent my CV. And yes, now I know Python and use it, but uh, for that time I uh, knew only Excel and SQL and it was enough. So I think uh, the hardest thing is getting a job because only that knowledge can be gained during first months in the working process. So don't be afraid to apply uh, to some positions and send your CV to some companies if you don't know something. Okay, so question number two is SQL, Power BI, Python, Advanced SQL are enough for uh, data analytics. Uh, I should say that you don't need to know all these tools and by the way I did a video about needed uh, skills for data analytics, here is a link. For sure you need to know some basic SQL syntax and you need to know some pandas pandas, Python libraries for data gathering, uh, data preprocessing, data analysis and machine learning. But Power BI and Tableau are needed only in particular cases. Not all companies require such a visualization skills. Plus, companies that really want you to do that, they put these skills, I mean Power BI and Tableau, into it would be a plus section in the job description. So, moreover, if you're applying for the entry-level job, I mean intern or junior or data analyst or data scientist, uh, you don't need to know perfectly SQL or Python. Employers expect that you will be studying first months. So you will use this gap several months to learn all needed tools uh, for your work. More important is your ability to learn quickly and the understanding of company product. So before the interview, you need to um, discover how does the company's product work, what can be improved, what can you offer to improve, what A-B test can be done, what does some metrics mean. So 
you see the understanding of company's product more important than uh, your skills of course you should know sql basic syntax as i told you before like know how to write basic script you should know some python libraries but you will be more attractive if you know the specific of company's product rather than applicant who knows only sql and python but don't understand how the company product works next question is about online resources to learn python and sql i would recommend udemy platform because there are many courses on different topics and levels second one is well-known coursera plus there are uh, cool introductionary courses on code academy platform and also I would like to pay special attention to Kaggle. Yes, it hosts data science and machine learning competitions and there are a variety of courses to learn Python, SQL, data cleaning and etc. I decided to drink tea with you and answer other questions. So the next question is where to get free data sets? Uh, probably after finishing some courses, you'll need to make a portfolio to demonstrate your skills or you just need to have a data to train. Uh, there are different sources, but some of them are Kaggle, UCI Machine Learning uh, repository where you can find different levels of documentation and cleanliness. Next is Quandle, there is financial and economic data. Also there are such resources as data.go where you can find the governmental data or uh, there is a site also with NASA satellite observation it calls Earth data and you can use Google data uh, set search it aggregates data from external resources and next question is how much learning time do you need until you can start your career in data science I should say that it depends on how much time you're able to devote to your studies and depends how quickly you're able to learn. If you can devote 3-4 hours per day, I guess you need 4-5 months to start your career in data science, uh, at least to get a job as an intern or as a junior data scientist. Okay, and the last question, what is the future of data science? It's actually a complicated question. Uh, data science covers thousands of data operations and the number of these data operations will only increase in the future. So it expects that uh, the demand for data scientists should uh, increase, but not so rapidly as it was till now. It's definitely a trending job of 21st century. I read recently that experts are determining data as a future oil, so data science will be foundational part of any decision-making process. And of course, um, the role of data scientists in data analyst uh, will transform. So I believe that employees who will have greater and deeper understanding of this area and will be able to provide complex, not standard solution will be more in demand. That's it guys, thank you for watching this video up to the very end. If you have any other questions, please write in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, click like, so I will know that you like such kind of videos and it makes me very happy. So see you soon in my next videos.